Welcome back to No Remorse Woodworking. As you may have seen, I've recently built a table saw from an old circular saw and I made a sled for it. Um, I've just spent some time adjusting the sled. It now runs as square to the blade as I can make it. But you probably can't see it, but there's a little bit of play and that's unavoidable on this setup. I, I can't make it perfect. So uh, if I want uh, square pieces, I need a shooting board. I already have a shooting board so that I can use a plane, preferably a sharp plane, of course, and uh, I can square up the end. This is my smoothing plane. And when I use that for shooting, I bruise my hand because I tend to hold on this screw on, on the plane. A long time ago, I actually built my own shooting plane. But the problem with this plane is it no longer fits in the groove and it doesn't hold the blade very well. So I need to make a new shooting plane. I need to make a matching shooting board. Ideally, I want the plane to have some heft to it. I, th I will use this as the center of the plane similar to to this and then I will glue on the sides but I'm not really concerned with matching grain etc. What I need first is to take my planer blade and I need to trim off so that this piece is a little bit wider than the blade. And because I forgot to adjust the blade properly, uh, it drifted and uh, my piece is now too thin. So we'll try again. That's a lot better. It's a little too wide, but now I can just run it through my thickness planer. Perfect. The next task is to lay out the opening for the blade. And I want the blade to sit at the same angle as my smoothing plane. So I'll take the angle off my plane, transfer it, mark it. Unfortunately, my table saw doesn't have the capacity, so I need to make the make this cut on the the bandsaw. And I also need to cut the opening for the planer shavings. I'm not sure I can show this on camera. This needs to be square to the side, which it isn't. And this surface needs to be flat so that the planer blade will rest against it all along the surface and it also needs to be square to the side. I think I can rescue this by taking it to the disc sander. Now I need to glue on one side and I have to get the alignment right. And now I can apply some glue. Am I about to make a mistake here? Yes I am. The mistake I almost made was I forgot to plane this down to the correct thickness. I want this to be the same thickness as the uh, surface of my shooting board. But after some quick action with the planer, 
the thickness planer. I'm ready to glue this up. And I just need to clean up the squeeze out because once I put the other side on, I will not be able to get in there. While the glue is drying on the plane, I can start working on the shooting board. But uh, first of all, I need to cut a strip of this piece. And bearing in mind my experience on my table saw, I don't want this to be too thin. I don't want it to be able to flex. This piece has got a rounded corner and I'm simply cutting off a strip to remove that. It will also narrow, make the, the, the piece a little narrower. I also need to make sure that this edge is straight. It doesn't have to be square with the end, but it has to be straight. And I can now glue on the other side what, what will be the top of the plane. And while I wait for the glue to dry completely, I'll clean off as much of the squeeze out as I can. I can also start thinking about the handle. I found this really thick piece. It's got a nice feel to it. I think that'll do for, for the handle itself and for the support. I'll use this thinner broom handle. I've probably cut off more than I need, but it makes it a little easier to, to work with. My next step is to drill a hole through this I'll leave it as is for now I need to finish the, the plane body before I've, I cut off this it may need a little tweaking and that's also why I don't mind the hole being a bit oversized Inside the planar body, I need a cross pin or cross dowel. And now that the glue has dried, I need to trim the sides down. And cut off the ends, of course. I'll uh, do it through the initial stages on the bandsaw and finalize with the hand plane and sander. Now I need to insert, or to position my uh, cross pin. But before I do that, before I can do that, I need to make the wedge. So I need to cut a new wedge. Can you see what a huge mistake I've made when I insert the blade and the wedge? There's no room for the planar shavings. I should have made the angle of the front piece much shallower than I did. I'll try and save my project by um, cutting off, cutting out a, a section of the dowel. And then trimming it flush. I've set the table at a 45 and I'm using a 4mm drill to drill a pilot hole so that I can drill with a third 32mm spade bit uh, drill a hole for the handle. After a bit of fiddling about, shortening the pieces, they now fit. They're not even glued in and they're quite secure. I've uh, 
glued on the guide strip. I sanded a little bit here on where the track is going to be. And now I need to glue on the board itself. And that, that's the reason why I needed to make the plane first, because I needed to fit very accurately. Now I need to put an edge on the bottom so that it will register against the edge of the table, holding it in place. Now comes the tricky part setting the fence. First of all I need a piece that is straight enough to use as a fence. I need to align it square to the groove that I'm registering against. And what I'll do is I'll put in a screw over here and one over here that will allow me to make adjustments if necessary. Now I need to sharpen the blade, set the blade, and do a test cut. I need to work on my skills at sharpening planar blades, but um, the plane holds the blade in place very well, so uh, I'll call this a success. I hope you have enjoyed this video about me making a shooting board. A shooting plane. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe to get a notification when I upload new videos. Thank you very much.